What's up you guys? So I'm actually feeling pretty good this morning. I have my cup of coffee here. I also chugged a Red Bull super early this morning because sleep regression has officially started in this household and I don't know how to feel about it. Atlas went down last night at 9 p.m. He woke up at 12.30 and he was up from 12.30 to 2.30 laughing, playing. And all me and Ulysses could do was just laugh because we're just like, is this real life right now? Is he like literally playing in the dark? Yeah. My kid was playing in the dark. I didn't want to turn on the lights because I didn't want to fully wake him, but his ass was up. He was going in and he had no remorse for the fact that we were like exhausted. We're going to get through it. I know it's only temporary fingers crossed that we get through this little hump in the road. So yeah, that's... That's a little tidbit on my night, but today I'm sitting down and I really want to test out some hot new makeup products. As you can see, I have some cool stuff right here. I just got this in the mail, it's by Too Faced. It's their Better Than Chocolate eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna dip into this. I haven't played with a Too Faced eyeshadow palette in a minute, so this looks really pretty, really promising. And of course, it smells like chocolate. I also have the new cream bronzers from NARS. So if you guys are interested in today's video and you like videos like this that are a little bit more chilled, laid back, us just chatting, testing out makeup, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. It is completely free and you guys know what's up. If it's free, it's for me. So if it's free, I know it's for you too. <laughs> With that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's video. One step forward, two steps backwards, yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this face oil. It's by the brand Cure Wise. You guys know I love me a good face oil. Again, skin prep's like super, super important to ensure your makeup just goes on really nicely. I've already done my skincare, so I'm just going to really seal in the moisture with a face oil. I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit. So that way you guys can see the glow on my skin. By the way, I am filming this testing out new makeup type of video um, with natural lighting. I'm not using any studio light. So let me know your thoughts down below. Um, I always love watching makeup tutorials and natural lighting because I feel like I can really get a feel for what the makeup actually looks like in real life. I'm gonna go in with this Beauty Elixir here by Caudalie. And I really love the way this feels on the skin. It honestly just feels like I just left the spa. I just got a facial. Like it's so smoothing and cooling on the skin. And it's a really nice refresher before I start my makeup. So what I'm doing now is I'm going in with some eyeshadow primer. I'm just using the P. Louise Base 2 and I'm tapping it in with my finger because the warmth of my fingers is really gonna help melt it into my skin and just make it look a little bit more seamless. I feel like more recently, I've really been into just using my fingers for a lot of things. I just love the way it looks. So let's jump into the eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna use the new Better Than Chocolate eyeshadow palette by Too Faced. I think the first shade I'm gonna take is Buttercream. It's this really pretty kind of like soft brown shade and I'm taking it on a blending brush and I'm just gonna run it back and forth in my crease. Oh wow, this is really creamy, really smooth. Again, I haven't used a Too Faced eyeshadow palette in so long, but you can definitely see that's blending like super pretty onto the lid and especially over top of that eyeshadow base we applied before. Then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Nice Buns. It's a really pretty warm tone brown and I'm gonna use it on that same brush and just take it right here in the outer V to smoke it out a little bit. And I'm also gonna make sure I really like stick it in the socket here. Wow, I can't believe I've been sleeping on Too Faced eyeshadows for a minute now. I feel like so many things came out that I wasn't really like reaching for their products, but I'm really glad they sent this my way so that way I could try it out today. This may be something that I use on a day-to-day -day basis because you guys know I did clear out my entire makeup collection, so I don't have many eyeshadow palettes, but this is a really, really nice one to have around because you have like all of your neutrals. You have a pop of blue, pop of purple. You have that really pretty like yellow gold in there. So a really fun and pretty palette. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm really torn because I feel like I'll just be sticking to like my basic neutrals if I don't try to use some of the color in this palette. I really wanna use the shade Bless Your Tart, which is the blue in the palette. So I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna start tapping this onto the lid. I'm just gonna go for it. I have no idea what I really wanna do, but we'll see what happens. This is a really, really pretty blue shade, by the way. It's like really good. 
I'm gonna take my finger and I'm just going to tap it onto my eyelid here. Oh wow, this is so pretty. Look at that. Wow, I haven't played with blue eyeshadow in a while, but I've definitely been on a blue kick, especially if you take a look at my current Instagram feed. I've been really into blue recently, so why not? Let's play around, let's get a fun pick for the gram. That's what makeup's all about, you guys. It's all about playing around, experimenting, seeing what you like, what you don't like. But I will say I really, really love the texture of the eyeshadow. It's really melting nicely onto the eyelid. I'm sure you guys have noticed, but I really haven't been into like the cut crease type of look or laying down concealer. I really love the way that shimmers look on top of my eyelid because I feel like it looks a little bit more natural, a little bit more clean and fresh. So... That's why I'm just going straight in with the eyeshadow on my finger because it's blending beautifully. What I'm doing now is I'm picking up the shade called I'm the Dessert and I'm popping it like right next to the blue and then whatever I have left on the brush, I'm lightly just going to tap it onto the blue because while I love it, I don't want it to be too in your face. So one thing I will say with makeup is don't be afraid to just go back in, play around and experiment. I feel like that's what these testing new makeup videos should be all about, as opposed to getting something that's like super perfect right off the bat. Like obviously you're gonna make some mistakes and I'm dropping makeup brushes. You're gonna make some mistakes and that's okay. Um, I feel like it's really about getting to know the product, getting a feel for it and what you like and what you don't like. So since I have that blue and that purple going on, I am going to start deepening up this look with some browns, but I'm first gonna take this shade here called Midnight Snack. It's this really pretty deep purple, and I feel like it's really going to just tie all the colors together because right now there's like a really big disconnect from my inner corner to my outer corner. Then I'm gonna take this dark brown shade, it's called Brownie Points. And I'm gonna go even further and really create more of like a smoky eye. I'm just taking this brown and I'm going back and forth a little bit here, closest to my lash line, but I want it to be nice and smoked out. And I know what you guys are thinking, this looks a hot mess so far, but trust the process. I'm telling you, anytime I'm like sitting down and playing with my makeup, sometimes I'm just like, this looks terrible. But by the end of it, it just looks really, really pretty and nice. You just have to trust the vision. Next thing I have to do in order to get everything to blend really nicely is I have to take kind of like, I don't know, a tapered pencil fluffy brush. That's what we're calling it. And I have to buff and blend out these edges because right now they're looking a little stark, a little harsh, and it's not really a vibe. So I'm gonna go back into the shade Nice Buns and Buttercream, mixing the two together, and I'm softly going to take this to buff and blend out the edges. This is gonna create a really pretty and seamless blend. So after looking at it in my viewfinder, I really want to intensify the blue like in the inner corner. So I'm going to spray my brush with a little bit of Fix Plus. You guys know this always makes colors like stand out and pop and I'm just gonna kind of like tap it here onto the lid. I'm really just gonna kind of tap it where I want it, oh wow, yeah. So that's popping out a lot better than this side over here. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water here just to clean up the fallout because oftentimes whenever you're sitting down and doing your makeup and you have like a ton of fallout, it's really hard to see the vision. So I have to like clean this up, look at my eye shape, figure out what I wanna change. Am I the only one who does that? Honestly, this would be like a really pretty like date night look. It has some blue, it has some mauves, like those purples, like cool tone, which is like a hint of warmth. I'm really into it. So I am gonna take a break from the eyes and I'm gonna work on the skin. You guys know I love the Milk Hydro Grip Face Primer for longevity. Now, usually whenever I do these videos, I really will go through like each and every single product and it will turn into like a full blown makeup tutorial. I am not gonna do that today. I'm really solely only gonna focus on the products that are like brand spanking new because I really want that to be the highlight of today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below. If I use anything that I don't like go into full detail about, I will link it down below. So make sure you guys check out the description box. I will say because the eyes are a little bit more dramatic, I am gonna go in with a full coverage foundation and I'm really just, I'm gonna go in when it comes to my base makeup because I really want everything to even itself out. Sometimes like a really dramatic eye and like really, really sheer skin doesn't look the best on me personally. So 
that's me justifying why I want to do full coverage, but do whatever you want. I like to spray a little bit of this Rare Beauty Set and Refresh Spray. I'm almost out of it. It is definitely one of my favorites, so I need to restock it like ASAP. So for concealer, I'm just gonna use the Butter Silk Concealer by One Size. So now I'm gonna take the shade here, it's called Bitter Half. It kind of has like a purpley undertone to it and I'm gonna smudge it here on my lower lash line. By the way, I am just taking this eyeshadow right on top of the concealer because I find that it sticks a little bit better. Then once I have it buffed and blended out, I'm just going to set my under eyes down in a place. But so far, I'm actually really liking the look. I had my doubts, I really did. And I know it looks crazy because your girl does not have eyebrows on, but we'll get there. So I'm actually looking at the look on a bigger viewfinder now and I kind of want to go in with this really pretty lilac purple just like right here in the center. Just like that, it's just going to add a really nice purple hue and I think it's going to mix well with the blue. I do need to fully set down my under eyes, so I'm gonna go back to using my KVD um, Highlight and Contour Palette and I'm gonna take that peachy tone shade and I'm gonna use it to set this area. And because we all know brows are so boring with the power of editing, brows are on honestly i did something super quick simple brow pencil brush it out y'all already know but let's get into some cream products i do have these new bronzing creams by nars i have laguna number no. two which i guess is the original shade of laguna and then they also sent over laguna three to be completely honest i can't really tell the difference so i'm just going to stick with the original laguna which is shade number two in the bronzing creams they also sent over this brush, so since they sent it with a product, I'm just going to use it with it. And I do tend to love to apply my bronzers with a brush as opposed to like a stick because I feel like I have more control over the product. So I'm just going to start off here and then I'm just going to tap it into the skin. Okay, so I definitely feel like this color looks really pretty on my skin. It's definitely melting into the skin really nicely. Could I go a little bit deeper? I think so. But I do think for the most part, this is pretty. It has some coverage to it and it's not really getting patchy at all. I do feel like I can go a little bit deeper though. So I'm actually gonna go in with shade number three. Honestly, I feel like these bold are really neutral bronzers. They're not too cool, but they're also not too warm. Very pretty. I'm just turning completely to the side because I do want to show you guys that this added like really, really pretty shine to the skin. Do you see that? It's like such a beautiful and healthy glow. Okay, Nars. I'm going to do the same thing just because I want it to be consistent. I'm going to go in with the original Laguna number two. And I'm just going to tap here. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. It like blends so easy on the skin. And then it also gives like that additional coverage. It's not too wet to the point where it's slipping and sliding. We'll see about longevity though, because sometimes cream products are great and everything, but they don't really last on the skin. So I'll definitely have to continue trying this throughout the week and let you guys know my updated thoughts later on. To make sure everything is nice and blended, I'm just gonna go in with the sponge I use for my concealer and I'm lightly gonna tap into my forehead just so that way I don't have a bronzer helmet. This is like my favorite method to ensure everything is nice and blended and I don't have like any like harsh edges. So I don't have like a super new blush to use in today's video, but I wanna use this by Patrick Ta. This is one of the Double Take Cream blushes. This is a new shade for me personally. It's in the shade She's Baked. So I'm gonna start off with the powder and I'm lightly going to tap it here and then I'm gonna put the cream over top. This is a really, really pretty color that I think is gonna go really nice with the eyes. It definitely has kind of like a burgundy hue to it. Now I'm just lightly going to press into the cream and I'm just going to tap it. And these give the cheeks such a beautiful like natural glow. You really don't need to go in with any kind of highlighter at all, which is why I really, really love them. Even though everything is looking so good, I have to powder down. I'm gonna use my MAC Studio Fix powder in the shade NC30. And I'm just going to go here 
and really mattify the skin. I'm not going to take it around my contour and blush though because I still want that to remain very luminous. Now, one thing I actually learned in a masterclass that I want to share with you is sometimes you can go in with the same color blush you're using and you can incorporate it in the eyes to give it more of a monochromatic and seamless look. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull that blush color up here as like a transitional shade. This look definitely calls for a false lash. So I'm going to apply these here. These are by Birdie Lashes in the style Beauty. Really, really pretty lash. I am going to go in with some wing eyeliner. Well, not a wing liner. I need to go in with like a really faint black line just so that way the lashes blend a little bit better. So I'm using this felt tip liner by one size. You guys know it's one of my favorites. If you haven't seen my recent full face of favorites, definitely check that out because I feel like I talk about a lot of products that I've really been loving recently. And then I'm gonna go in with my Makeup by Mario Crayon Eyeliner and I'm gonna tight line because I don't like to see like the flap of skin, especially when I have on such a dramatic look. So I'm gonna fill it in. So I did just apply the false lash off camera just because, I don't know, I feel like it's really, really tedious. I like to press up on them just so that way they're a little bit lifted, but I like them because they're nice and thin and they really show off the eyeshadow, which is like obviously the star of the show. So for the lips, I have a couple of things we could use. I have these new Vice Lip Bonds by Urban Decay. These look really, really cool. These are the Unbreakable Liquid Lip Color. I have the shade Pleased, which definitely looks right up my alley. It's a nice nude color. Oh, you guys hear that? It makes a noise. It says Shake Well, and this is the color. <gasps> Will it go with the look? That is the question. You know what, let's try it out. I need to go in with a lip liner first. So I'm gonna use this one by Anastasia. It's in the shade Hazelnut. So I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not really in love with the color of the liquid lipstick. I think I will really like it paired with a different eye, but I think the eye is just way too much for that color. So I'm gonna go in with this lipstick by Anastasia in the shade Soft Brown. So I went ahead and changed because I do have some other stuff to film. By the way, I forgot to show this in the video, but I put this on off camera and my lips, ooh, they're tingling. This is the Lip Injection Maximum Plump Extra Strength Lip Plumper in the shade Chocolate Plump. This definitely has more of a metallic sheen to it, so it definitely goes with the current lip color that I have on by ABH and Soft Brown. Really pretty, right? I'm into it. I'm not sure about the tingling, I'll have to keep playing around with it. I feel like it's getting in my mouth and it's like burning my tongue and then <coughs> let me stop. I'm really glad I got to sit down and film today's video in my master bathroom in front of a big old window, no studio lights, just natural lighting. So let me know if you love this setup and I'll definitely film more videos like it. I don't have much else to say except I really need a refill on my coffee. So I will chat with you guys in the next video. Peace.